the prosecutor will choose. A clear disconnect emerged over the purpose of ICC prosecutor Fatou Bensouda's visit to the victims of the post-election violence in Eldoret. Okay, 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 okay. And the victims' testimonies, while Bensouda insisted that she had only travelled to the 2007-2008 post-election violence hotspots to get a first-hand account of their plight and explain the ongoing ICC process in which four Kenyans face crimes against humanity charges at the Hague. The victims demanded that she conducts fresh investigations into the cases, saying they have so far been left out of the evidence gathering process. No one came down here to investigate. Does ICC have a provision whereby you can, after considering the evidence that you'll have before you, have a second chance of doing investigations? It's in these brains of these who are seated here. Sababu diyo wakaje wa hapa. Because they come from this place. Na diyo walipigana. They're the ones who fought. Na diyo wanajua mwanzo wake. And despite the ICC prosecutor seeking to separate politics from the court's judicial process, the victims who had converged at the town hall meeting had their concerns about those they deem culpable for the turmoil that followed the 2007 disputed presidential election. Uh, because that time, uh, as the violence was being meted on us, it was 41 against 1. This, uh, this violence was all over. It was in Kisumu, it was all over. But we are surprised that nobody from Kisumu has been taken to the ICC. Emotions at the Kiamba PAG church all too evident. They too giving a chronology of events that culminated in them being uprooted from their homes and their lives disrupted. Sasa vile walipeleka watu wake au watu wa kwa na makosa wenye walikuwa na makosa ni mwenye alitangaza results. Alitangaza mtu wenye ako ameshinda kwa vile aliulizwa nani alishinda sio alikuwa anaitwa kivitu akaulizwa nani alishinda akasema sijui. Sasa vile who had won they said that he did won. Baada akakimbia sijui alienda ngorofa akaenda akatangaza kibaki ameshinda. Later kibitu ran and went upstairs and he went and announced that. Na kaapisho usiku. And immediately kibaki was announced to be the president. Yes, madam kweli usiku inaonesha mtu alikuwa ni ameshinda kweli. Kitambo vita itoke before the war was there. Kulikuwa na picha fulani kubwa sana ambao tuliambiwa kama sio huyu there was a very big big picture that they saw if it's not that person. Sisi tutajaa kwa pickup. Na tulisikia hata kabla ya hiyo kabla ya uchaguzi. The, the, the Kutakuwa na tsunami. Na tukauliza tsunami ni nini? Na tukaambiwa tsunami ni sisi tutafagiliwa. Despite the Office of the Prosecutor maintaining they were not gathering new evidence, they are seeking to prove to the trial judges that four individuals planned and supported the chaos and thus bear the greatest responsibility for it, a fact that the locals insist required another side to the story. It was all over the country. It was in Kisumu, it was in Nairobi, it was in Nakuru, it was in Eldoret, it was in Lodwa, it was all over. So narrowing it to, to Eldoret, Madam, we feel that maybe there is something wrong. We do not go after each and everybody. It's not possible. We cannot do that. So what we do, we look for those who we feel, be, due to the evidence we have, they are the greatest responsibility for those crimes. The ICC judges rejected several challenges lodged by the government on the admissibility of the Kenyan cases despite failing to try the cases locally and thus there will no longer be impunity for these crimes. As a country you do it, if you don't do it, ICC does it. The message the ICC prosecutor Fatou Bensouda sought to put across to victims in Eldoret town. Bensouda leaves the country tonight after her week-long visit. The office of the prosecutor is to submit its final evidence to the trial chamber judges by January the 9th next year.
Jackie Maribe, Citizen Weekend.